it felt like a popcorn shell um, stuck in the back of my throat. I didn't think anything about it, I just skated on. And then it started to feel like there was actually something there, like something was actually touching the back of my throat and my tongue. And then I looked in the mirror and I saw this golf ball size of like red, blue, funny thing attached to my um, tonsil. And that's when I went to the doctor who put stuff down my nose and my throat and he said, no, it's a, it seems to be a cancer, but it can't be sure. And then I was booked into theater to have my tonsils taken out along with the tumor. And then uh, in the, I think it was the third or the fourth week, um, I think it was September of um, 2012, they phoned me to say it's confirmed lymphoma cancer and then I phoned my mom to um, find out who else in the family has cancer she says no nobody why but then I forgot to tell her also and I told her and she starts crying I start crying oh wife who's sitting by me she starts crying two year old comes and she sees every guy crying she she starts crying and it's like a whole crying festival there. The change was when I went for my first um, full CT scan and then it came back with there was another little tumor in my chest and then the doctor said look here it's time at you and you need to think of about to go we have to do the chemo now. Driving home that was like the part where really, like I even pulled off on the side of the road, I just sat there and I began to like, just tears. I just sat there and said, have I finished now or what? <laughs> then where it really, really sunk in was when my hair started to fall out. Like, my hair, my nose hair even fell out. And then it was like, then, People would like start to look at me, hey what's wrong with you, are you shaving? I'm like no, it's not really by um, um, choice. The worst part of the whole thing was the radiation. That was for 15 days daily. That was, that was fine for the first week, but then the second week I lost my voice. I couldn't swallow food. My neck was like I got jammed in a sun tanning bed was black here, chest was black. Then I had to go do all my tests again, bone marrow, lung, heart, blood. And then another full CT scan. And then they told me, okay, the tumor um, seems to have gone back down to a centimeter now. One thing I told myself and I told my family, my work and my family, and I told them, don't give me any pity because I don't want any, I feel sorry for you. Don't change, don't change anything. Because I didn't change. My, I still kept on with my cars, I kept on building my cars, I, worked at home, I came to work. Don't like just sit back and say, oh, I finished. Do your wall, sell your stuff. Don't do that, just carry on. Don't turn the page, carry on. 